this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to animate your video clip speed on a curve so we can gradually increase or decrease the speed of your video clip and use a smooth transition when adjusting speed velocity of your video clip in DaVinci Resolve 18. So I'm just going to show you how the controls work and then you can use it in any way you want. But first click on the video clip you want to speed up or slow down with a gradual curve and go to the option that says Retime Curve. When you do that, this curve controls show up. Now DaVinci Resolve has curves for many different controls, but we are looking for speed. So let's go ahead and click on this drop down over here and make sure to check the Retime Speed checkbox. Now you can change the constant speed of the video by dragging this horizontal bar up and down. As you can see, the clip size is changing on the timeline as well as you're dragging that bar. And so I've just sped up my video by doing that. And that's great for linear animations, but we're looking for a smooth transition for our video clip velocity. And so to animate speed on a curve, First thing you want to do is click on this button over here. There's two of them. It's the one on the left. Now hold the Alt key and click anywhere on that bar. This will create a new controller point on that line. You can drag it left and right, or you can drag it up and down if you position your mouse to the left or right of that point. So as I drag this up, it's going to create this sharp drop. So at this point, if you click on this button again, this point will be converted to a curve controller. Now you can control the smoothness of this curve by dragging the edges of this line. And then you can drag it left and right as well. Now I'm going to hold the Alt key again and create a second point on the same curve. So basically, if you drag the line to the left of that point or to the right, this gives you intuitive controls to changing velocity of your video clip. As you can see, the length of your video is also changing automatically as you continue changing the curve. So here I'm going to move the second point to the left to create a more dramatic change in velocity and play the video. So let's see what happens. The car slows down on a smooth curve and then speeds up again.